Well, new research in Ontario has found a deadly tapeworm in the southern part of the province. It shows that a quarter of foxes and coyotes have this tapeworm and it can be fatal to dogs and their owners. Now, this parasite has been found in Western Canada before, but this is the first time researchers have found it in other parts of the country. Andrew Pergen is from the Ontario Veterinary College at the University of Guelph. He is the lead researcher on this report and he joins us now from Guelph, Ontario. Andrew, welcome. It's an odd bit of business we have to talk about. I, can you help us understand how this tapeworm, this parasite, traveled from Western Canada and how the path has led us to potentially believe it could be lethal to people? So we've always known this parasite was in the southern parts of Saskatchewan, Alberta, and Manitoba. It was also in 13 adjoining U.S. states, including one just to the west of southern Ontario. And actually, we think... Um, what we're seeing now is tapeworms that's come in to southern Ontario from parts of the U.S. And so tell me about how that connection happens between the foxes and coyotes and, and people's dogs. So historically, the parasites always occurred in the wildlife, and it's occurred in the intestine of foxes and coyotes. They shed eggs into the environment, and then if rodents um, eat those eggs, they develop the larval or immature stage of the tapeworm. And then when foxes or coyotes eat those, they develop intestinal infections. And as I said, we've had it in foxes and coyotes um, in adjoining U.S. states. And it appears over the last few years, it's almost certainly come into the province, probably with foxes or coyotes. Uh, and our data have showed, in fact, now it's established in our fox and coyote population right across southern Ontario from Windsor to the Quebec border. The, 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 the danger for dogs, and we've now seen five dogs that have got extremely sick and four have died from this parasite, and that happens if, fox, if dogs eat the feces or poop of foxes and coyotes. And all those dogs appear to have got infected at the western end of Lake Ontario in the Golden Horseshoe area. And forgive me, does that happen often? Are domestic dogs eating fox poo? There certainly are a number of dogs that do eat that regularly. As I said, we've only seen five dogs with this really nasty form of the tapeworm, and they've occurred since 2012. As I said, prior to 2012, we didn't think the parasite occurred anywhere in Ontario. Okay, so then our dogs get it. That could be very dangerous for them. How does it spread to the humans? Well, so strangely, what can happen in dogs, I said, so they can develop the liver nasty form of the disease um, if they eat um, the feces of foxes and coyotes. However, if dogs eat rodents, they will develop the adult tapeworm in their intestine. And there are certainly many dogs that are hunt and are known to eat rodents. When that happens, it doesn't make the dogs sick, but they shed eggs in their poop. Um, and those eggs are immediately infective for people. And people only get infected if they accidentally ingest eggs. And so it's most likely in the feces of dogs. Are people accidentally ingesting these eggs? It's likely happening because it certainly occurs elsewhere in the world where this parasite is a significant problem. Uh, and in fact, as a result of the data that we've obtained and others, Ontario made it reportable. So that means infections legally have to be reported both in people and in animals. And that happened last year. Uh, and already there appear to have been two human cases where infections were acquired in southern Ontario. Um, there are actually more human cases have been diagnosed, particularly in Alberta, over the last few years, where they're seeing the same types of problems that we're now starting to see. So we're talking about two new confirmed cases uh, recently. Are you, is this a big issue? Should we be concerned about this? We, we don't know how significant the threat to human health is. What we do know now is where the parasite occurs, and it certainly occurs quite across southern Ontario, but there are certain spots where the risk of infection is significantly higher, uh, and that's the whole of the western end of Lake Ontario and right along the northern shore of Lake Erie. Um, and so I think what this information has done, it's certainly put it on the radar where it wasn't before, and it's put it on the radar for physicians and veterinarians when they're working up either animals or people. Um, and so I think infections are much more likely to be diagnosed than historically they used to be. Okay, Andrew, help us. How do we protect our puppies, our doggies, and how do we protect ourselves? We don't want this thing. 
So as far as our cells are concerned, uh, um, people only get infected by ingesting eggs, and that's most likely eggs that are passed in the poop or the feces of our dogs. So if you have a dog, and particularly if it's a dog that goes outside and hunts, um, it's extremely important to wash your hands regularly, particularly before eating. As far as our dogs are concerned, um, that the most important thing is go and speak to your veterinarian, um, because the risk of infection changes greatly across Ontario. But if your dog is a, in a high-risk area and it's known to hunt or ingest rodents, it makes sense to talk to your veterinarian because there is a drug that can be given regularly to your dog to stop it developing an intestinal infection, uh, and therefore it stops the shedding of eggs in feces that can infect people.